Hey guys, just so you know, this video has recordings of me pinning butterflies, and if you would prefer not to see that, then you can go watch another one of my videos, and I will see you next week. And for those of you who are interested to see that, you can keep watching. Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to pin a butterfly, and these didn't die in, like, no one killed them, they just died in the wild. So first you're going to need a piece of foam. And then I have this moth that I found at my friend's house yesterday and it was already dead. Parchment paper. I suggest tweezers and scissors. Okay, so to start you're going to take your parchment paper and cut off like a piece about... I can show you. It depends how big for each butterfly, but for my size moth, I'm going to have two of probably this size. And that, then we're done with the parchment paper and scissors. Oh yeah, I also have these special pins. I have insect pins and dressmaker pins. So, to start the foam, you're going to need to cut a cavity to put their body in. Okay. So to start, I'm going to move this out of the way. And if you, once you catch the butterfly, or once you find it, put it in the freezer. That basically decontaminates it. So I'm going to just take that out of here. Okay. And then, with my little tweezers here, I need its body. I grab it by, here, I'll zoom it in. I kind of grab it by its thorax. I don't know if this works with moths. It wouldn't, but it opens its wings if you squeeze its sides. See? And then, right here, I have my special very thin insect pin and I'm just going to hold on let me zoom out this is very delicate so you have to be kind of careful push it oop see this is what I mean it's very delicate I'll be back once I get that in. Okay, so I have the, my gosh, I have the pin in and I'm just going to push it through like that. Then come up here, take it, and kind of get it into that cavity here. Right here, just get it kind of in there. Like that. Then I get to push this through the body a bit more. Then I'm going to take this and basically place it over one wing. So I think I'm going to actually need to cut these in half. You can adjust the size of them as you go. Then for this size butterfly, you're going to need like two dressmakers pin. But for this, type of butterfly like this big butterfly in the background here you're gonna maybe need like six well two just make a pin for each side so four <laughs> so then oh, I forgot something and then you're gonna need two more of those insect pins I have one right here you're going to place the paper on the wing and you're going to just open the wing up and press it in. Okay, and then you're going to take the another one, kind of open up the bottom wing and press it in. Then you're going to take a couple dressmaker's pins 
and into the foam you're going to press them to hold the paper down. Then you're going to repeat it. You're going to repeat it with the other side. So I'll see you guys once I do that. Oh yeah, and you won't... <clears throat> so then you will take these out and use them for the other side. And then do the same thing again with this side. I'll see you guys once I do that. Okay, one thing I forgot to tell you is you have to find the main vein in their wing. Like the biggest vein in their wing. So yeah. Okay, so once you have that, you will have a like couple pins. Here's some of my other butterflies if you didn't get to see them well. <coughs> Sorry, I have a bit of a cold. So this butterfly died naturally. And now, if you're following along, after two or, yeah, like two days, you take this paper off and you get something that's like flattened. This one is not very flat, but it's kind of flat. And they don't have to be perfectly flattened to the ground. It's okay if they're like up a little bit like this. This one's perfectly flattened. But there's also special boxes you can get. So this one's actually really pretty. It's got orange. And you can see where it was kind of crushed. So by someone. I don't know. I just found it on the ground. Very sad, but... <laughs> This is a way to preserve their bodies. So you can basically buy special boxes to put them in. And this is called butterfly pinning. So another helpful tip is, yes, I do have this, but it's not very helpful when you're trying to pin them like immediately. It's good to hold them, but use the foam as a pin cushion. I can get it to focus. See all the spots on mine? That's where I used it as a pin cushion. <laughs> so yeah. And I suggest that you keep the pins away because uh, away from little kids because that is very, very sharp. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're wondering, it's just a normal tweezers. Hold on, let me get it to focus there. Come on. Sorry about that. So they're just normal, they're metal. And you would squeeze like on the underside of their thorax. <coughs> no scissors just a plastic bag and then you put them in the freezer and just tissue paper not tissue paper uh, wax paper or parchment it doesn't matter yeah so usually you would have something like this but I'm not very professional so I just kind of cut a hole like that that also works, doing a whole kind of like that works. As long as their body has something to like fall into, if you know what I mean. See if you look, their bodies fell in and their feet fell in. And then, yeah, you can see the pins down them. You keep, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, you keep the pins in them. Bye! I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and maybe you will try this, but don't kill them. Do not kill the butterflies. Just find them dead naturally. Don't kill them. That's mean. Don't, like, catch them with your net and then just put them in the freezer. Well, I mean, you could, but that's just mean. Um... But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe try it out for yourselves. And remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.